Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. I had this one person ask a really good question. Um, so basically, we're going to call it husband and wife. Uh, and then when the husband goes to his mom's, uh, who's narcissistic, and starts having problems. Um, so he comes home to the wife, and things are just horrible. Um, he starts uh, acting the wrong way when uh, he's interacting with the mother um, that continues on. Uh, so the question was, you know, uh, he can be a good man when he's not interacting with, with the mother. But why does he act the way he does when he has contact with her. Um, a lot of times, uh, a lot of things that we go through in life, it's kind of crazy, but um, we revert back to our childhood. Um, uh, some of our actions are based on that. Now, when he is interacting with mom, um, either he's used to the coddling uh, and is craving that from the wife. So he has a little resentment having to readjust um, and then kind of snaps out of it. Um, but it's probably uh, more reactive. Um, so when he is with her, the mother, um, he kind of goes back into the childlike state. Um, just because that's their type of interaction. That's the comfort level that he has with the mother. So as they're interacting, um, he's picking up narcissistic traits, um, which we can do as well when we stay in these relationships. Um, and that causes a reactive abuse. So he's throwing his little temper tantrums. Um, if he does it with the narcissistic mother, um, there's probably repercussions, whether she's going to ghost him or silent treat him or turn things around on him. So he's probably more in a frustrated state. So he needs to get rid of that. So he goes to the person that's closest to him, which is the wife. So instead of taking it out on the mother, um, he has that unsettled uh, frustrations, um, the uneasiness, uh, the confusion. Um, so he's getting a little stirred up. Um, and that's why he's reacting to the wife, um, because he feels more of a comfort with her as opposed to the mother. Um, so that's where uh, the abuse comes from. A lot of times people um, don't know where to put their feelings. And if he did grow up in a narcissistic household, he probably does have a, at least a few traits. Um, and that's his go to because that's what he grew up around. Um, so if he is not a narcissistic husband, um, he probably has a couple traits. Uh, he's probably learned that as coping skills. Um, and when he's away from her, he's probably a lot healthier. Um, and that's why when, you know, we are trying to figure out, do we stay in these relationships? Um, uh, it's healthier to get away from them um, because it does cause brain damage in us. Uh, the narcissist has brain damage as well. So to answer the question, uh, it's probably stirring up his childhood. Um, he's probably a little bit more mature than a narcissist a full narcissist, um, but he needs that readjustment. If you guys have ever had kids um, and you go through like a, a custody exchange, uh, if the child is away from the parent for the summer and then they come home, uh, there's the readjustments. Um, a lot of times on weekend visitations, uh, it doesn't just go back to normal. There's usually um, uh, the, the child's a little bit confused in a sense to where, you know, they have certain rules uh, with dad, certain rules with mom, uh, certain bedtime, certain, you know, uh, over accommodations, uh, some is fun, some is back to normal, some is homework, some is, you know, activity. So the child um, is, is readjusting. And that's kind of what the husband is doing is he's readjusting. And uh, even though he's an adult, um, when he interacts with the mother, uh, it brings them back to a younger state, uh, back to a younger coping skill. And so that's where uh, the lingering comes on, because when he's not interacting with mom, um, he's in that healthy state. When he interacts with mom, um, that's when uh, he's going to be all stirred up and just take things out on the wife until he readjusts, just like the children will take it out on the parents when they go through uh, custody exchanges. Um, and that is a true phenomenon. I've experienced it. Uh, there is a readjustment um, even after weekends. If you guys can comment below on that, um, that'd be really interesting to hear some of your stories. But I think that's the best way to on, uh, answer it is if your husband is not an actual narcissist, 
um, when he's around a narcissistic person, he will go into reactive abuse. And instead of taking it out on mom, he's taking it out on the wife until he readjusts. So please like and subscribe. Hope that helps. And I'll see you in the next video.